Welcome and congratulations to the winners individual competition men. First position, Emil Hekle Svensson, Norway. Second, Alexei Volkov, Russia. And third, Evgeny Yuskyugov, Russia. Emil, 34th victory, World Cup victory. Since Oberhof now third victory this season, in the new year, fourth podium. And not to forget, you are the gold medal winner of the Olympics in Vancouver, so that seems also to be your competition. It seems you found really the perfect corridor for you to focus on your competition. Um, you don't look right or left, you find your real good course. Why is this normally so difficult at other times? Um, I, think, uh, I think you're absolutely right. I, I found a way to, um, to to focus on the right way, and uh, and I try to do this uh, every time the same. Um, what's different now is that I uh, I really focus on doing the same every time and not letting myself um, uh, slack when I <laughs> when I when I do a good race. I, I I focus on doing the same thing race after race, and uh, and uh, I think this is the recipe for. Um, for good and stable racing to do the same thing every time and and, uh, and this is the reason why I'm uh, stable and uh, good on the shooting range I think um, I've been uh, been doing a lot of uh, good mental work so um, so this is uh, starting to pay off and hopefully I can um, can keep it going yeah it's a special year now with the Olympics um, how have you changed your training what is the difference to the last season you just mentioned the mental training uh, yeah, I think the biggest uh, difference is um, that I'm stronger on the shooting range. I've been working a lot, of course, uh, with shooting uh, during the, the summer and the fall and, and also in the winter. But uh, in a race, it's always uh, very hard mental work that's, um, uh, that uh, is, um, is the recipe for, for good racing. So, um, so I think this is one of, one of my advantages now uh, that I'm um, I'm strong mentally and hopefully I can keep it that way even even in the Olympics when it's <laughs> even more uh, pressure it's uh, it's going to be fun to see if I can keep it together as you are skipping now Amtholz uh, how is your plan for the upcoming time now from the end of this World Cup towards Sochi yeah I uh, race tomorrow and um, after that I go home uh, for for some days and then uh, we're going to Switzerland to um, Lenzerheide for uh, preparation for the for the Olympics, um, and uh, I think uh, for me now it's uh, it's important to to get some rest and um, to get my head straight before the Olympics. I think it's going to be very big and very tough, and um, it's important to be to be in top shape. So I I want to rest a lot before the Olympics and uh, and take a lot of time off, but. Uh, but still do some do some quality training of course but uh, not as much uh, high high pressure training and not so much um, training has been uh, up up until now alexey perfect shooting today brought you the second place how hard was it to shoot clean today only three men we saw in the whole field who managed that alexey um Отлично стрельба. Сегодня вам дал это второе место. Как сложно было сегодня стрелять без промахов? Всего лишь три биатлетов, биатлонистов смогли это делать. Стрелять вообще не тяжело. Попадать сложно. Ну, сегодня, да, наверное, стрельба далась тяжелее, чем в Оберхофе. Немножко напряжены были третий, четвертый рубеж. То есть уже состояние было некомфортное для стрельбы. Но справился именно с этими моментами. Считаю, что все удалось. You know, shooting is not hard. It's hitting the target that's hard. The shooting was harder than in Oberhof, um, and uh, and I felt especially uh, during the third and the fourth shooting uh, that I wasn't 
entirely comfortable in the shooting position. But so I, I managed to overcome that. And yeah, of course, I, I feel very good with this result. You mentioned Oberhof. Also there you achieved the second position. Uh, how much easier probably on, on the tracks and with the weather was it uh, to compete today? Ну, немножко разные условия Оберхофе, насколько сегодня было проще или по-другому насчет условия, чтобы бегать. Гонки простыми не бывают. Всегда тяжело, всегда выкладываешься. По сравнению с Оберхофом трасса здесь, наверное, немножко такая же, поэтому по самочувствию бежалось примерно как там. There's no such thing as an easy race. Um, like in Oberhof, the tracks are similar here, and 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 you have to run over them, and and it's tough. But uh, so it doesn't make make a big difference. I mean, you always run as fast as you as you can. Evgeny, for you, it's the first podium of the season after, but after this position today, uh, how do you feel about defending your Olympic title you achieved in Vancouver with the mass start? Um, do you think you are coming closer to this now? Евгений, это первый подиум в этом сезоне. Как вы сейчас себя чувствуете насчет защиты вашего олимпийского титула в Мастарте? Спасибо за вопрос. Я примерно предполагал, что это так и будет, что сегодня первый мой подиум. На самом деле приятно. Мне в течение сезона постоянно чего-то не хватало. То одного выстрела, то пары секундов. И сегодня, скажем так, все сложилось, но не до конца. Был один небольшой промах. И если Алексею стрелялось в Оберхофе проще, то сегодня мне здесь проще было. Здесь нету ветра, в отличие от Оберхофа. Но здесь чистый, скажем так, снег. Опять же, таки в отличие от Оберхофа, здесь скольжение и скорость совсем другая. Здесь бежится легче. И, может быть, все это и сложилось. И Наконец-то я первый раз э, забрался на подиум. Что касается защиты титула, естественно, буду стараться, буду бороться, но как получится, в этом еще пока никто не знает. Да, конечно, первый подиум в сезоне – это очень хороший I've been pretty good all, all season, but there was always something missing. Missing e either I, I missed a shot, e either I was a bit slower on the ski, so I, I've been close a couple of times. But today, um, to the contrary of what uh, Alexei was saying, actually I, I shot quite easy. Uh, there's no wind here in Drupalding. Uh, the snow on the tracks is very clean, and and I, it makes me for easier running than, for example, in Oberhof. So actually today was the day when everything just came together. So I'm, I'm very happy to finally have my first podium place. Um, now, as the question is regarded about defending my Olympic title for the mass start, of course I will do my best, but uh, well, no one knows the answer to that question until we run it. But maybe you can answer us the question if all the top Uh, Russian men will go to the World Cup in Antasava? А ответ на такой вопрос можете давать? Все русские биатлонисты едут, поедут в Антхольц. На данный момент ответить на это сложно. Завтра будет еще одна гонка, и после этого будет приниматься решение, кто куда поедет. Well, I, uh, it's a bit early to provide an answer on that one yet. We'll uh, see that tomorrow after the mass start. Do we have questions? No? Thank you.